Hi, this is Anita for Real Estate Crunch. You know, today we're going to talk a little bit about can your landlords just suddenly raise your rent? And I think anyone who's a landlord, this is the question they're asking. And if you're renting, this, of course, is a question that you're asking also. Like so many things in real estate, there's no clear yes or no answer because there's so many variables that can be involved for the area where the property is located. But let me go through some of them that you can be able to understand a bit more. The first thing you need to do, if your landlord calls you up and says, I am raising your rent, the first thing you need to do is pull out your lease agreement and read through the lease agreement. You should read through the lease agreement and see what the terms and conditions are. You should check for a rent increase clause. Now, these rent increase clauses can be in several sections in the, in the lease agreement. One could be the amenity sections. Sometimes they'll, they'll be in the amenity sections. Look for a clause there related to the rent increases. Uh, this may be under you know sections about lease renewals, rent adjustments, and amenities. Or look under notification requirements. The lease should specify how much notice your landlord needs to give you before increasing the rent. Typically, the notice would be 30 or 60 days. If your landlord calls you up and say, hey, I'm raising the rent tomorrow, that is probably not legal unless it's specified within the lease agreement, which it shouldn't be because it is really they need to give 30 days notice. You need to also look at what are the local laws for the areas that you live because some areas may have specific laws about the increasing of rent. So state and local laws, there could be specific state and local laws which will, will say exactly how rent can be increased. Some of the uh, different states will have different laws for about rental increases and some local laws, you know, and um, some local areas may also have very specific laws. In fact, you know, some areas of a city, they, they might, you know, decide that they're going to make it a rent controlled area where, you know, rent cannot be raised or there may be other reasons, I mean, other reasons why. So you really need to check that out. Most states have a landlord tenant handbook available on government websites. So one of the first things you should do is, you know, if you're if you're questioning this, go and check out your state, do a little bit of research online, see if you can find the landlord tenant handbook and then find out what it says about tenant rights and landlord obligations and what it says about rental increase. Also look at your city and county regulations because as we said specifically, the city and county could have very specific regulations about rent increases. You know, local housing or health departments often have additional rules. You know, some cities have rent control laws that limit the amount landlords can increase the rent. So you, you need to check all of that to see because this can make a difference as to how much the rent can be increased. You know, there, there can be some laws where there's rent control or rent stabilization laws, which restrict how much landlords can raise rents and how often they can do so. If you're in rent controlled units, and any rent increase must comply with local regulations. So you check first if it falls within that allowable limit. They could say maybe they can rent at one or two percent if they're trying to raise a ten or twenty percent. You know, you may have a case here. Some units have been have have been regulated rent increases often tied to a specific index or government decision. So, you know, ensure again that this aligns with what is with the government. A lot of times landlords will want to increase the rent just because of the fact that they are, you know, they're assessing the market and they are trying to decide. Maybe they're saying like, oh, everybody else is increasing their rent and my place is so much cheaper. So they, they may decide that they want to raise the rent because they feel like the market has increased so much that it warrants raising the rent. You still, as a tenant, you still have rights here. You can look at, you know, contacting other real estate agents to say, is this really true? Are they just telling me this lie? Are they just saying that everybody else is increasing when really the, the rental prices are going down? You can look at, you know, tenant protection and other support. There could be support groups out there, community groups to help tenants. You know, spend some time and research your landlord. If it's a landlord that owns like quite a few different properties, there might be people online who have written about it already, who have either talked about how they've had a great experience with him or have had a terrible experience. If you find that there's a lot of people that had a terrible experience, I'll say the same thing. Hey, you know, I got into the building and then, you know, 30 days later, he calls me up and wants to, you know, increase the rent to this amount. You might find that the landlord has a habit of doing this. If you are going to rent a place, 
do some research on your landlord itself. You know, the landlord's going to research you. They're going to check and make sure that, you know, you're the right, you're suited for their building. You also do the same thing and check out your landlord to make sure that you're suited for the landlord. You know, investigate their their practices. See if there's a, if people have written things online. If you're able to, talk to other neighbors. Find out, is this a good place to rent or not? Negotiate with your landlord. You know, some landlords, they raise it high and they think that you're going to negotiate. So if you're going to you know, negotiate with your landlord, prepare your negotiation strategies and you know, make sure you understand what and you're negotiating and how you're negotiating. If you're finding other problems, your landlord is trying to raise the rent, you might have a legal recourse to withhold the rent, but do not do this without first talking to a lawyer or some type of legal counsel because this could get you in a lot of trouble if you do this. Make sure you check out legal advice if you're having problems with your landlord and suddenly your landlord wants to increase the rent this huge amount. Start talking to legal counsel because they will help keep you out of trouble and make sure anything you're doing is legally legally within the law and specifically within the local laws. That's why we cannot say enough that in real estate, of all things, you really need to check out with local legal counsel that understands real estate and understands the real estate law. We've written a blog post on Can Landlords Raise Your Rent? Comprehensive Tenants Guide, and we'll put a link in the description. We hope you'll take the time, if you're interested in it, that you'll read more, that you'll read some more um, information on this. And if you're having problems with your landlord increasing your rent, we certainly wish you the best of luck and hope that you'll take the best steps possible to be able to remedy this. This is Anita from Real Estate Crunch. Thank you so much for listening. We hope you'll join our community. Give us a subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. It really does make a difference. We really would also love to hear from you. Leave a comment. Let us know if you have any questions. We'd really love to be able to hear from you. Thank you so much for being part of our community. Mm -hmm.